Well, it's been a while since I last posted a, uh, a fossil prep video, but today I thought I'd get back to it and share with you the preparation of this uh, massive fish skull uh, from the London clay of the Isle of Sheppey in the UK. Uh, that dates to the Eocene about 50 million years ago. Okay, so here's, here's the first look at the unprepped nodule. It's a pretty big nodule here, probably weighs about 20 kilo. Um, this is what's known as, uh, as a septarian nodule. Um, and as you can see, the, uh, the, it's probably been rolling around the beach for a while because some of the bone has been exposed and you can see some teeth coming through uh, on that side. These septarian nodules are, are pretty solid. They're like cement and they've also got uh, calcite veins running through them, which makes them pretty difficult um, to prep and, and to ensure that they're that they're stable, but actually I'm pretty excited by by this block. Um, you can see that there's almost certainly a complete skull within it. You can see on one side teeth and, and an eyeball exposed or a sclerotic ring, but it's this side which I think holds the most promise. That's where I think we'll find uh, uh, most of the interesting stuff. Now, before we get prepping, I wanted to show you um, how modern technology like CT scanning can be used to have a look at what's inside these nodules before you actually get prepping. Uh, this is an example of a London clay fish, which I CT scanned. Um, now, this actually is contained in, in a phosphatic nodule, which is common preservation um, on Sheppey. Uh, phosphatic nodules are much softer, and you can clearly see that there's some bone on the outside. But um, CT scans allow us to look within this nodule. So the lower scans are the slices and the white is where you get uh, higher density bone appearing inside the nodule. But you can also remove um, that matrix digitally. Here we go. We'll just remove that matrix digitally. And then you can see all of the harder bones that are contained within this soft phosphatic nodule. And if I just rotate that around, it effectively means you've kind of digitally prepped uh, this fossil without actually having to uh, uh, dig around or, or spend time prepping uh, this phosphatic. Now, the way in which these CT scans work is they're scanning for differences in density. So if you've got soft matrix, which is a phosphatic uh, nodule in this case, um, and then you've got harder bone material, it shows up um, the difference between the white, the more denser bone, and the, and the darker matrix. Now, the difficulty is when you move on to septarian nodules. As you can see at the bottom, this is cutting through the slices from different angles. There's actually very little uh, uh, a white showing up. So um, more denser material showing up, which would perhaps give you the indication that there's not a lot contained within this nodule. Uh, you can see, however, the, the kind of veins through this septarian nodule showing up as darker lines. Again, if on the volume render at the top, you remove this, this matrix, um, you can actually see that there's very few things that are showing up with higher density. Um, you can see that there are a few teeth, but they're actually um, visible on the surface uh, where it's been eroded when it's rolled around the beach. So you can see the teeth there. But actually within that nodule, it's showing that very little else um, could be contained within it. Now, this is a bit deceptive because we know that there's bone within it, but there's just on septarian nodules very little difference between the density of the matrix and the density of the bone itself. So effectively, the only way we're going to um, have a look at uh, what's inside it is by, uh, is by prepping this out. So let's get on with that.
Okay, so here it is. After about seven or eight hours worth of prep of that same septarian nodule, the complete uh, skull of a fish known as Brichetus mulleri, a pretty rare fish from the London clay, has emerged. Um, those teeth are, are, are excellent, really pleased with that. They were a bit exposed, they had been worn a little um, by, uh, by natural sea weathering. Um, but actually, it, it, it's a great skull. There's a wonderful uh, top of skull, which is really characteristic um, of these Brichetus. There has got some distortion in the way that um, the skull has been kind of squished geologically over, over time. Um, but actually, it, it is a complete skull. Um, it's got everything uh, characteristic of a, of a Brichetus, um, and it makes a, it makes a really great display piece. So, you know, I'm really delighted with, with how well this has come out, given it's been, you know, buried for 50 million years. So thanks very much for watching. Hope you liked that one. Um, I'll try and do a few more uh, videos um, over the next few months. Thanks very much.